the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. There, there are three levels of the operation of the power of God. The highest of them is the power of God that is derived from intimacy. But that is not the only dimension of God's power. The highest dimension of God's power comes as a product of intimacy hallelujah the second dimension of his power is invested in principles now the difference between the first dimension and the second dimension is that the first dimension will require a relationship it is a byproduct of a relationship but the power of god that is accessed through principles does not depend on relationships you do not even have to acknowledge God. All it takes is understanding and the fortitude for compliance. So it is very possible that an individual can reject the person of God and yet access the power that is behind principles. The power was designed to be released the moment there is compliance to the principles. The third dimension of God's power is access through covenant alignment. That means that the way God administers his possibilities on earth, in as much as we are, the Bible says the same Lord is rich unto all, but the way he has so designed his program is that he hides his possibilities in men. Are we, are we together? He hides his possibilities in men. He hides his possibilities in institutions and he hides his possibilities in places. You read all through scripture and if you are ever searching for where the anointing is, principally, you will find it in men, you will find it invested in earthly institutions and you will also find it in locations. Are we together? The Bible says in Genesis 28 that Abraham... Um, when isaac came to a place called laws and the bible says he lay there to sleep the bible never said he was praying or desiring to see god he just came to a location and the bible says while he slept he found out that it was not just a place that it was a portal that gave him access even to the realm of the spirit that he saw angels ascending and descending hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. When Elijah was about to transit, he didn't just transit in any location. He kept moving from location to location. He got to an exact physical place. And he says, Elisha, talk quickly. I'm leaving any moment from now. Jesus himself did not leave to heaven just everywhere. There was a particular place he stood on earth. And the Bible says he began to levitate even in their presence. So he hides his anointing in men. Hallelujah. Now the way covenant alignment, accessing the anointing through covenant alignment works is that there are people purely through the election of grace. Are we together now? Purely through the election of grace. According to Ephesians chapter 3, when you begin to read from verse 3 to 5, Paul was teaching and he was giving the church in Ephesus the basis for his apostolic authority. He wanted them to understand that even though he was not part of the disciples when Jesus was on earth, but that he had obtained grace and he had been called into the fellowship of the mystery. Let's look at it. I want to establish something and then we'll just pray. He says, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery an exact mystery not a mystery he made known unto me by revelation the mystery as i i wrote a four in few words verse four it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ five it says which in other ages was not made known do you know what this means it means there were people who tried sincerely 
they prayed they fasted they tried to access those fruits but it was archived and kept for a certain age so it was not about their inability to press they did their best but it says that these mysteries were closed and were kept for a particular age it says in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets how by the spirit and the purpose for that is found in verse 9 and 10 why did god keep this and now reveal to us verse 9 and 10 says to make all men see it is part of that grace combination that was given there is a grace that can make all men see do you know what that means regardless the limitation of those men educationally intellectually when they come under that grace it can make them see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things in Jesus Christ? Let's read verse 10 together. Ready? One to read. It says to the intent. That means this was, hold on. Everything that Paul is saying, he says for this purpose, this is why he beckoned on us to come into this ministry of apostleship to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the multifaceted or manifold wisdom of god so god hides these possibilities in men but according to isaiah 9 and verse 6 every time he sends a word to jacob the intention is that it lightens upon Israel. Are we together? He never sent Isaiah 9, is it? Please look for it for me. He sent a word to Jacob. It lightened upon Israel. Now, do you know the meaning of that? If God wants to speak to everybody, he spoke about the voice of God. But I need you to understand how the administration comes. Because when Samuel had God, he had it in the voice of I mean, when uh, Samuel had God, he had it in the voice of Eli. He did not hear a loud thunder. When God called Samuel, Samuel ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? He went back again and God called him and, and Samuel said, I know what is happening. The next time he speaks, it is through my voice, the semblance of my voice, but I know the one speaking. Tell him, speak, Lord. Because you will hear something that I cannot tell you, even though it is my voice. Are we together now? Yes. This is very powerful. What happens is that God would call a man, and through the sacrifice of covenant alignment, God will lead that man through a unique path in the spirit. Listen carefully. A unique path in the spirit that will give that man the capacity to be able to host the dimension of god that he wants to invest in him now when that man successfully goes through that season god will anoint him and grant him the engracing and the reward of that man for staying with god is that anyone within that dispensation who wants to access that dimension of god will never do it in dishonor to that vessel that is your own reward for staying with God. That means God will never bypass you to communicate that dimension across that for as long as you are alive. So for instance, when you talk today about the ministry of faith, choose any man of God on earth that you want to. It will still end in Copeland. You listen to Kenneth Copeland and he may be very simple and basic but you will be surprised ignore his ministry and downplay him through dishonor you will be surprised that as yielded you are in as in the spirit you will never access certain levels of faith until you recognize that ministry as being a conduit that is the conduit that god set up to administer his dimension of faith when kenneth copeland dies god will raise another man again are we together now 
this is very powerful the ministry of healing choose any man of god you know that works in the healing ministry you will keep routing it it will get back to benihin standing today you will never truly walk in the healing anointing ignoring the presence of that ministry are you getting what i'm telling you now i'm just teaching you how the three layers of god's anointing that you can have that anointing through encounters through the manifestation of principles and covenant alignment to people who have that anointing based on covenants that is the reason why you can come under the influence of a man who has that covenant with god and even before you understand the dynamics of that grace it will be working in your life did you ever read in the bible that a prophet said god opened the eyes of another person do you know what it takes for your eyes to be open normally if you are to go through the routine and the discipline that will lead to the open eyes it is not just one pronouncement but that under a certain influence there are things that can happen praise the name of the lord he won't believe that this all this is just to explain something that i started 